Facebook relevance. Oh my goodness. There is yet another metric that you must know about. It is called the relevance score. It actually has a new name. And in this video, I'm going to go deeply into what does relevance mean? How is it going to affect you? And how it can save you tons of money on your Facebook ads. In a nutshell, once you have a thousand impressions of your video or your post through Facebook, and that could be as low as $20 all the way up to $100 that you spend on that, depending upon the size of your audience and how you do that, you're going to get back a score. And that score tells you thumbs up, thumbs down, or what to do. And once you pay attention to that score, the next piece of content you put out there is going to make a big difference in your business. So watch Facebook relevance. This is a training that we gave as part of Peter's other program that was live. It was produced live. And this is just a tiny little excerpt of the full Facebook relevance training that you'll be able to access after we complete this live event. So Peter, you've learned a lot about Facebook relevance from me. What do you think about this? What could you say to people to get them ready to watch this video? Yeah, I mean, uh, so many people are scared to really jump in the waters. They don't know what to do. And, and uh, a lot of times they go in and they just lose a lot of money. So this beginning part is going to show you the, the parts that you really need to be aware of. And like you're saying, the, the word relevance, I mean, what does it mean, right? What, to be relevant is basically to have your stuff be um, synergistic with whatever else is going out there, right? To make it, make it in the same wavelength, right? Instead of you're doing A and everybody else is going B, you're going to lose a lot of money, right? So, the, it, so and also to be able to look at the, the numbers and to be able to see that. And I'm not a numbers guy so much. I'm, I'm more just to get out there and do it. And sometimes I just waste a lot of money doing that. So Vic is kind of pulling me in a little bit and showing me the light to be able to get in there. You might want to look at the, the numbers a little bit to be able to, uh, to get yourself right on track and be, be laser targeted in what you're looking to promote and, and um, have it be targeting the right people, basically, right? Instead of targeting everyone, you want to be targeting the right people and being relevant to them. So watch this video. I think you're going to really, really like it. Again, it's just a small version or a small portion of the overall course uh, that Vic and I did uh, prior. All right. So enjoy Facebook relevance and we'll see you at the end. Hello everyone and welcome back to another session of the Authority and Influence Summit. My name is Quinn Vo and I'm your host. Next up, we have a really special guest. Victor Grant is a technology leader, a professional speaker, author, a visionary business advisor, and okay, he's a coder. Well, he's a coder. Here's the thing though. He's, he knows so much about technologies, which is very left brain. And yet he's also a, a, like a musician, which is totally right brain. So I don't know how he does it, but he's a genius. That's why he can do it all. <laughs> okay. And so he's, and by the way, he's also a surfer and that's how he keeps in shape. He was also a former talk show host at MSN, the Microsoft network. And since then developed his own unique indie search engine, earthgrid.com keyword software, search triggers, content management tools, and funnel software called Living Funnels. And then most recently, he's famous for his social media editor, Soshi Snap. Oh my God, this is a lot of techie words, Victor. Hey, I'm so happy to have you here. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? I thought I'd have, bring out my surfer identity. Uh, today. Yeah. <laughs> no, I had to say you're a surfer. I mean, because seriously, you are cool all around. Serious, I mean, left yeah. brain, right brain, and then also a surfer. Oh my gosh, yeah, it doesn't I get was, better. I, here's the thing is I learned surfing and I teach Facebook ads the way that I teach surfing. And I was actually a yoga instructor and did yoga retreats in my 20s. And when I learned surfing, I learned from this master teacher and we did all of our practice on the beach. And so if you actually want to learn how to be, how to get up on a wave, 
your practice is on the beach, okay? You're sitting there, like, you're not even in the water. We did uh, like, a pl like a plow or a sun salutation in yoga. And, and what, I, what I learned as he was teaching me how to surf, I said, wow, I, I could relate this to yoga. And so then I developed my own, my own style. And then for a few years, I was teaching surfing in Hawaii. Um, and I could definitely get people up for their very first time on a wave. But see, if you learn the techniques, you learn the strategies, you learn the tactics, you break it down into bite-sized little chunks, that's what will enable you to, to really feel it in your heart, in your soul. And that's also how I approach Facebook ads. I, I inhaled all of the great Facebook trainings like from Chris Record, Onyx Singal, and just to name a few, uh, Sandy Gorkowski, who has over like three or four million fans. I've studied all these trainings, but I said, you know what? What they all miss is breaking it down into bite-sized chunks so that you can get it. It's like, and they're also missing a lot of the, the little secret sauce that comes from running your own ads. But my real experience with Facebook happened when I got that magic button on my page that says, hey, Facebook wants to talk to you. And I immediately thought, oh no, <laughs> did I get in trouble? Did I do something wrong? I said, no, um, it's a magic button. So let me hear from anyone in the chat if you've ever had that little notice that says, hey, Facebook marketing would like to book a, a, an appointment with you. Uh, if, if, if anyone has had that happen to them, I just like to have a call of hands. I've prepared um, a very in-depth training. Now, if you go to fbrelevance.com, that's my free gift. The slide deck for today, the edited version is gonna be uploaded in there. So you get the slides for my presentation so you can follow along. I'm gonna go really fast. I've got a lot of slides to cover. And we're going to have music interludes in between. Probably best to buy the, uh, the VIP upgrade because he's going to download a bunch of stuff on you, on you right now. Yeah, it's going to, hard, I, I it's like, going to be well, hard to take notes. What I think notes. of a funnel is like I'm putting like the good old fashioned beer bong funnel in college, you know, where you would take a hose and stick it in your mouth and someone would pour like five beers. It would go right into your stomach. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do here. Okay, so get ready. Um, don't take notes. There's not going to be time. Just breathe it in. And, and, and there's going to be little musical breaks in between. All right, so here we go. <laughs> I'm going to start with a musical break. Yes. little break musical thank you so that's here for a reason because facebook relevance came out by reverse engineering my success okay 2.3 thousand likes 52 comments but look at this 1.1 thousand shares right so that's what i'm going to be teaching you guys and gals how to do 78,000 views now yes i did promote this post but notice i wasn't asking people to buy anything i didn't say hey go buy my cd it's right here or you can like you know go to spotify and hear my music people just love how simple that is so that's what we're going to be talking about today all right okay yes so it's fbrelevance.com becoming a paid traffic master and so just so you know that you're in the right talk we're talking about Facebook relevance, how to reduce the cost of your Facebook ads by 68%. Now, what's interesting about that, someone pointed out to me, says, you know what? I don't like that idea of reducing costs. 
I want to talk about gaining something. And I said, you know what? That's actually a good point. Well, did you know if you reduce your cost by 68%, you're actually increasing your performance of your ads by 312%, percent Point five. Would you like to know the formula for that, Quinn? Yes, hello, yes. Okay, so performance is one divided by one minus the cost savings time 100. So I'm gonna to retitle today's talk as how to increase your advertising performance by 312.5% without <laughs> spending a lot of money. How many of you guys would like to know how to do that? Me. <laughs> okay. All right. So I like to bring up one of my mentors from ages ago. I met Zig a long time ago, actually at a Jim Rohn event. Uh, Jim Rohn passed away. I love Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn was actually the mentor of Tony Robbins. Have you ever heard of Tony Robbins? But Zig said... Every sale has five basic obstacles, no need, no money, no desire, no trust. Zig got the elements right, but he got the sequence wrong. Now here, if you are gonna take notes, take mental notes on this because this is the correct sequence. What you wanna do is just like I, I shared in the beginning, you wanna break down your ads into bite-sized chunks. You've only got 15 seconds, guys and gals, on a Facebook ad for it to autoplay. In other words, It'll start playing as soon as someone is scrolling through their news feed. So you have 15 seconds to establish trust. I recommend your next video is gonna establish need. Your next video is gonna establish desire. And then your next video is gonna establish hurry, hurry, hurry. And then finally you ask for money. What I notice a lot of marketers do is they try to put all five in one video or they try to ask for the money way too soon. So I, this is a quote. And you can quote me on this. This is our company philosophy here at EarthGrid. A sale is not something you pursue. It's what happens naturally while you're immersed in serving others with their needs. That's and beautiful. Is on naturally, okay? So who am I and why should you listen to me? Well, Google me. Victor Grant, out of 27 million views, according to Google, I'm number one. I was known as the internet communities expert. I actually have been around longer than Facebook. We were already operational right around the same time as Facebook was. We had a social network for entrepreneurs. I, ha I was spoke on stage with Reed Hoffman who started LinkedIn. Actually, when he announced that he was launching LinkedIn, I had already finished my keynote address talking about virtual communities for entrepreneurs. But Reed came on immediately afterward and said, hey, we're gonna give everybody jobs. And the jobs won. Earthgrid.com is a search engine. It's an indie search engine. We pride ourselves in being able to have the little guy get found. Research, data, software, how to do things. It's really, really simple. And maybe at the end, I'll show it to you as a demo. And SociSnap is a product launch I'm right now in the middle of. What is SociSnap? But it allows you to create these highly engaged, bold, italic emojis, and what we found is that if you use this tool, it is going to rapidly increase your quality of your ads and your conversion. It works on 25 different social networks. So I'm gonna go back to my deck because I, I wanna not talk all day about SociSnap. I wanna keep going into Facebook relevance. Here's one of my clients who's a musician. This is her ad before and after. Notice the number of shares and that's, the number one measurement that I base the quality of a campaign on is how many shares you get. I don't care how many clicks you get. I don't care how many comments you get. I don't even care how much money you made. What matters is how many people shared it because you can always turn that into cash by retargeting. Now, we're gonna go really quickly now. So what do you bring to the table? Write that in the chat. I'm gonna answer that question for myself. I'm a software developer, I love numbers. I have a degree in economics and business forecasting. I love procedures. And my forte, my secret sauce, is I can help you bring your campaigns to the finish line. I love to squeeze the most results from the least amount of ad spend. So let me ask you guys in the audience, would you call yourself, when it comes to Facebook ads, beginner, intermediate, or advanced? Please put that in the chat. All right, let's see. So I love this warning. This is always our results are not typical. We've been doing this for more than two decades. 
So don't think you can produce the kind of results that my numbers are, but if you understand the principles, you'll do a lot better than you have been so far. So let me show you the Facebook relevance back office. All of you who sign up at fbrelevance.com will have access to my one hour talk I gave in Hollywood. Okay. That's uh, more than I have time to go into today. And then you also over here on the left side, you're going to get clips from 22 Facebook tips plus one that I did with my friend and business partner in New York city, Peter Wolfing, an excerpt of Facebook domination, some think and grow rich, the science of wealth. There's all these different trainings that you have access to absolutely free. That's my gift to you guys to get you guys started guys and gals at fbrelevance.com. So now when you go there, you're going to see this. Okay. How to increase your advertising performance by 312.5% without spending a lot of money. Just put in your email address, get instant access. The second screen, please fill that out with your name and your phone number. And then after that, it's going to ask you to choose a password so you can get back into the members area. It's very, very simple. You go ahead and do that. So let's talk about relevance. Relevance is the metric that I base everything in my business on. So what is relevance? Relevance is the measurement that Facebook invented to determine, did you hit the mark? Did you hit the target? Does your audience match your creative? Audience are the people, okay? Your tribe. And the creative is the message that you're giving them, your video content, your pictures, your colors, your emojis, your, your text. Does it pop? And here's the thing. Something will be completely attractive to one audience and repulsive to another audience. Some creative will be very attractive to some people and very repulsive to some people. Relevance is the basis of whether you've made that connection correctly. Now, a perfect relevance score doesn't mean that you're going to be making money. It just means that Facebook is willing to show your ads more at a much lower cost. Any questions, Quinn, before I go to our next um, uh, little break? No questions. Um, other than the people have mostly are either never done before beginners or intermediate. Great. Well, intermediates is my target audience. And I'm going to tell all of you guys who are beginners, by the end of my talk today, you're going to be intermediate. Does that sound good? Yes. So this is my next musical clip. Did you play that? That was beautiful. Yeah, I wrote that song. Wow. So um, how do you feel after hearing that? Does it make you feel peaceful? Does it make you feel calm? Could you see that the audience would be like nature lovers, uh, people who love green, people who love... Uh, let me hear from you, Quinn. What do, what do you think about that? I totally felt peaceful and relaxed. And also the, the, the pictures, the background, the video, the setting helps a lot. Yeah, definitely. And so you could see that some, now here's the thing. Some people love rock music, but we don't know yet that a rock music person would not like that. In fact, we found that rock people still love my music, right? So a lot of people think they know their audience, but what we know for sure is that people have various interests. Some people love ACDC, some people love Led Zeppelin, some people love Pink Floyd. You don't know until you know. 
And Facebook gives us the tools to be able to determine what that is. Does that make sense? Right. Okay, so let me see how I can. Okay, there we go. So I can minimize this. Yes, there we go. So let's talk about audiences. What is an audience? Let's talk about types of audiences and where do you build your audiences? Well, you build your audiences in the audience manager, okay? You can go to my search engine, just type in, go to earthgrid.com, type in Facebook audiences and hit the space bar. You're gonna get tons and tons of information. And one of the links you're gonna receive is this business.facebook.com ads manager and audiences. There are custom audiences, lookalike audiences, special ad audiences, which are brand new creation that Facebook just introduced it. This is like for political campaigns, highly controversial campaigns, and then saved audiences. They all have different purposes. We're gonna go through them really quickly. A custom audience, you wanna use your sources. This could be like a website, app activity, customer lifts. Like, let's say you have an email list. You can upload your audience and then run ads to those people. Offline activity, videos, Instagram profiles, lead forms, events, instant experiences, and Facebook pages. Now, I go into all of these things in my deeper training, but I just want to just touch on a few of them. Then there's something called a lookalike audience, okay? Let's say you uploaded uh, 100 subscribers from your email list. You can go to Facebook and say, hey, I want 200,000 people that look exactly like these 100 people. And it will do its best to find those people. And that's what's called a lookalike audience. Then what you can do is create something called a saved audience where you apply interests, you apply suggestions. So if you have a list and pay attention to this, upload your list as a custom audience, create a lookalike of 1% of a population. And then if you put interest targeting on, the lookalike audience will reduce down to around 200 to 300,000 in the US and it will base it upon the amount of people who live in that country. And you always want to have one country at a time. Facebook itself told me this. You confuse the algorithm if you try to run multiple countries in a single ad group. So if you don't have a list, you want to start with saved audiences. Pick a country, stack interests, and narrow up to four times. So for example, to run my ad, to get all of those people, I targeted the continent of Europe with jazz music, classical music, engaged shoppers, and household income top 25 to 50% of zip codes. Now, I, I just added that for something else. This is, a, this is my current uh, campaign that I'm running. But look at these numbers, okay? I was able to have, uh, this is my live Christmas concert. I had 400 views. I reached 786 people. They were highly targeted. And I spent like $5 to reach almost 1,000 people that were right in my target audience. That's the power of Facebook. When you're not asking for money, all I said was, hey, happy holidays. Here's my Christmas concert. Okay? Is that cool or what, Quinn? Yeah. I mean, $5, really? That's it? To reach like <laughs> I think it was under $5. People? It was like $4.35. Okay, and so... I boosted it on Christmas. I set a $5 a day campaign. But here's the thing. No links. We're going to talk about the secrets later, but that's the first secret. It's a hint. So let's talk about the perfect score, okay? And there used to be a perfect 10, but right now it's in three dimensions, okay? We're gonna talk about those three dimensions of relevance and how you can achieve this perfect score. Secret number one, I already said it before, but what is the secret? Quinn, what do you think? <laughs> uh, actually, no idea. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you guys a clue. Look at my post. You see Picture. that? Happy holidays with a video, right? No links. Oh. Do not post with links. Okay, let me show you some hard numbers, okay? Here's a case study with links. 
my quality rating, below average, below average, below average, engagement rating, that's okay, average, 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 below average, my conversion rate, below average, above average, and below average. Now this is actually an ad that is right now making us money, but this is at the end of what we call a campaign. So here's a case study with no links. A music video, sexy woman singing, using SociSnap, my, so my software, video view objective. Guys and gals, we ran 21 variations of the same ad until we got the perfect score. This is the perfect score right here, above average, above average, above average. And these other ones were average, average. We tweak a little thing and all of a sudden the numbers change. Sometimes it means changing a different um, audience. But see, yes, it's a lot of work. And you need at least a thousand views or impressions before the Facebook gives you the score. So you need to be spending money and making nothing. But here's the thing. If you're willing to do that spend and make nothing, you'll make a boatload on the back end. You want to restate what I just said, Quinn? Because you get this. <laughs> All I heard is you spend a little bit at the beginning and you make a whole lot more at the back end. Yes. Yes. So I came up with multiple acronyms for work. Um, winning objectives, resource kindling or something like that. But <laughs> don't avoid work. Break it down into 15 minutes. When I sit down and work on a campaign, I run the timer, I run the clock, I work extremely fast and I get it all done in 15 minutes. So put your hand on your chest, make a declaration. You say, I commit that I'm going to work in 15 minute chunks. All right. Say that. Quinn. I commit to work in 15 minute chunks. Actually, that is true because I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to take a walk and hug a tree after that 15 minutes. What? Every 15 minutes? Come yes. on. That's too much. You will do more productivity than your lifetime or go in the water. Soak your head. If you have a, a pail of water, stick your head in the pail. But this is what we did as surfers, right? When you're surfing a wave, your ride is maybe a minute or two. There is a place that I, that I used to surf at in Hawaii where you could actually get 15 minute rides. But that's a really, really rare place, okay? So, and a lot of you guys and gals won't like this one and I'm sorry, but it's just the way it is. The guys that make millions and millions of dollars like my friend Scott, he has made more than 19, he's almost $20 million in sales through his Shopify store. You must track, you must track. And if you don't want to track, then hire someone who's willing to track for you, okay? Now, what are you tracking? You're tracking your audiences. You're tracking whether it's cold, warm, or hot, okay? So if you go here and you just type in Victor Jazz Piano, there it is. That I actually composed this live on stage. I had a quartet and I didn't tell them that I was actually gonna say, you know what, just follow my lead. And it became one of my most popular songs. And you see how it builds. There's a, it comes in with a didgeridoo and I'm creating a feedback loop. Now there's a reason why I'm doing this because it's gonna get really warm and then it's gonna get really hot. So I started with a root melody and then other musicians are coming in and they're flowing with it. This is an analogy of people watching your ad or watching your videos, liking, commenting, sharing. It starts to build up some passion. Now here's Countdown.
So it makes you want more, right? You feel like you want to hear the rest of the song? So what would you think of that? We literally I, made that up spontaneously. Really? Wow. I cannot believe you can do Composed that. Composed in front of a live audience. Capturing from the moment of meditation, featuring Jean-Pierre on saxophone, Vader on violin, and a, a special guest on didgeridoo. So let's go back to the deck. What I want you to emphasize is that the cold, warm, hot cycle of working with your audience, it follows music and the, it follows composition theory. I studied composition theory in, uh, in uh, college. And what I, you, when I work with a client on their ad campaign, it, it's like a breath. It has an in and an out. It has an in and an out, right? So cold audience typically would be the kind of people that you would run cold traffic to. Almost all my traffic that I spend money on right now with Facebook is warm and hot, okay? When you're first getting started, you gotta spend a lot of money on cold and that's where you're gonna be testing. Now, let's talk about the customer value journey, okay? Here's your customer. They see an ad, they find you in search, they hear about you via referral, that's when they first become aware of you. That's cold. Then they read a blog post. They engage with social media. They watch a video. They Google you, okay? One of the best things you can do is have an entire package. You want to have your speaker success formula. If you're a public speaker or you're a coach, you got to have your Google profile down because before people will buy from you, they're going to Google you. And when they, what they see there is gonna probably be your LinkedIn profile and your Facebook profile. So they're gonna engage with you on social media, they're gonna watch you, and then maybe they were gonna opt in. But that opt-in happens much later. That's what's called a gated content. So like when you're going to fbrelevance.com, you're at the subscriber stage. That's stage three, okay? So you have lots of ads you wanna run that are just building awareness. You have other ads that are building engagement. You have other ads that are asking people to opt in. What I see a lot of marketers doing incorrectly is they're asking people to opt in on their first ad. They're not warm enough, okay? Don't ask them to opt in. Don't even give them a link. Then you wanna have a small purchase that's under $100 or scheduling a demo or showing up to a webinar. So that's where we get in a secret uh, number three. Any questions before I move on to secret number three? Um, no questions for me. And the audience, uh, D is saying, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So actually, actually, you know what? Uh, I, I love how you connect the music piece to the Facebook training because I was wondering why, why am I listening to your music again? <laughs> but now I'm getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the music is, is how uh, there's an ebb and a flow for the campaign. And you notice a lot of people run their campaigns kind of like um, they're very repetitive. Like a lot of modern music today is extremely repetitive. In fact, it's a loop, right? It's the same drum beat over and over and over and over again for five solid minutes. And the only thing that's changing is the lyric or rap, right? And so that is related to the audience. Uh, classical music has a more of a build. It's, it, 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 it generally has a melody and a counter melody. And the, the melody and the counter melody interact with a theme. And so I like basing my 10 day campaigns on a theme. So pay attention. This is the formula. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Ready? Now you might need to really bite your lip for this, okay? Because you're gonna want to give people that link where it sends them in to go buy something, but you don't do that. 
you can set up these campaigns in advance with Facebook. Five days of pure value content. And if you remember slide number one, you're building trust with your first video. And then, and then you're building what? Do you remember? What was the second one? Sorry, are you asking me? Yeah. This is a quiz, right? Oh. It's need. Ah. Okay. And then there's desire. And then there's hurry. And then you introduce the idea that, hey, tomorrow, okay, I'm going to give you guys an offer. So five days of pure value content, okay? Then five days of conversion ads, no more value, no more stuff. You're retargeting custom audiences of video viewers. So people who've been watching your videos throughout the week, the following week, all they're doing is they're being retargeted, retargeted, retargeted. I'm sorry, the offer ends on Friday, then you extend it through Sunday and then maybe till Tuesday. It could be a digital album download for $10 or like software like my $99 Sosi Snap. But you want a low ticket entry, okay? So here's the secret for digital. This is the campaign for digital. If you're selling digital products like home study courses, online courses, even this replay counts as a tripwire, okay? On the back end, you have a $1,000 program. You have a $2,000 program. What drives me crazy is people start selling those $2,000 courses before people have consumed the $99 product. Don't do that. We learned this in Digital Marketer. I'm a, a, a partner with Digital Marketer who puts on traffic and conversion. You always wanna make sure that the people consume what they bought and that they understand how to use what they purchased. So pause in between. Don't overwhelm people. So when you're starting out, you need to generate 50 events per week. This is straight from Facebook's mouth, okay? So if you're generating leads, you need 50 leads per week. If you're generating add to carts, 50 add to carts per week. Don't be asking people to purchase until you have at least 50 events per week. Start with video views, okay? Then either leads or add to cart and then purchases. Once you're getting 50 leads per week, go two sales per day. Does that make sense? Build a habit. And here's an example of one of our campaigns that we ran. Our leads are $1.35, but they run into a campaign that builds sales. And the product we're selling right now is SociSnap. That's the actual campaign that we're running. So <clears throat> earlier I talked about how do you get this magical quality of 300% more. Well, we ran a lot of ads. This is an actual case study that we did with different audiences. And we were uh, running like campaigns, eight cents per like down to 15 cents per like. Other, um, what we're trying to do is save money on the ad spend. And then ultimately when we ran the campaign total, we saved 68% over just letting it ride the way we started, okay? With small little tweaks. And just like the music, if you heard the music, the other players came in after my solo, right? So let me hear a yes or no. Who wants to save 30 to 50% on your ad spend? Claim your free training and gifts, create your account, watch all my videos, see everything that you can before our next live event, which is next Tuesday with my friend and mentor, Scott. And um, that's it. I want to, I have a question for you. This is important. Yeah. Um, because if people who wants to do Facebook ads, um, and is it a good idea to do it themselves or should they just hire someone like an agency like yourself? Here's the thing. The reason I created Facebook relevance was because as an agency, we kept having clients come to us with the same beginner questions, the same lack of development on their product. They had never made a sale before. They've never um, sold anything online before. How can they possibly 
get a result when the core thing that they need to sell, they have to be selling. We work with attorneys. We work with CPAs. We work with mayors, okay? They already know who their audience is. They know they want a certain objective. They want to win. So the answer to the question is, before we have an agency consultation, just go through my free training, please. <laughs> It'll save hours of my time in, because then you'll have the right vernacular. You'll understand everything that you need to know to ask the right questions so your, your ad manager can help you with your business. So yes, we do offer that and we can sit down and have a free strategy call. However, it's much better if we have the strategy call after you have completed the basic Facebook relevance training. Gotcha. Okay, so I know I totally get that this is not enough time for you to give us all the, the, the genius that you have. Um, so for you live audience out there, please just opt in into his training. It's free. Thank you so much, Victor, for that generosity. And right now, I, I, I'll give another five minutes of Q&A. If anyone have any questions for Victor, go ahead and put your question in the chat box right yeah. now. Is or it okay if hand. I put my calendar link in the chat? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. If people want to take this offline and just talk to me, I was uh, talking with people. My schedule is extremely booked. If any questions, then feel free to type it in. If not, Victor, I have one question for you. Sure. And this is, can you do a little quick uh, summary or some final words of wisdom when it comes to Facebook, when it comes to paid ads for that matter? Because I know you're, you're an expert on Facebook, but beyond that, you're, you do so many things. So perhaps just link it all up into the tech world of paid ads. I would say practice selling your product through email and through Google uh, in a traditional way first before you go to Facebook because Facebook is um, the lowest cost way to advertise successful products that are established and it's the most expensive way to advertise unseasoned products, okay? Unseasoned meaning you don't at least have like 100 sales under your belt. If you have 100 sales of something under your belt, that's the time to really kind of like push it forward. If you're doing coaching, what I would recommend you do is just run um, video view ads on a live, like do Facebook Live and boost it. Facebook Live and boost it until you build that culture. And then, like I said, do five Facebook Lives every single day, Monday through Friday, you're on live on Facebook. You can do Facebook Live on your personal page, then use the tool inside of Facebook Relevance called the Video Viewer. That's a free tool inside of there. You can download your Facebook Live from your personal wall and upload it to your fan page. And then from there, you can boost it. And what that allows you to do is start building trust and building your culture. And then what I would do is run a, a, a lead ad to every single person who watched your videos and have them book a strategies call or a strategy session with you. That would be the best way to work it. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Victor. I know I'll be in your training next week. Um, and because uh, <laughs> I know this is, this is like just scratching the surface of Facebook ads and what well, you have to teach. My this week is with Scott. He's my uh, friend and mentor. And he, we, we used to be ad managers for each other back in 2012. But since then, he's now generated more than $19 million in sales through his Shopify store. And we're going to be breaking that down piece by piece, step by step, talking about e-commerce and the e-commerce revolution. It's amazing what he's been able to do. And we, 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 we tag team each other. I help him with his ads. I help him improve his existing campaigns. And he helps me with my, my creative. It's a true partnership. So I thank you, uh, Quinn Vo. I really, really appreciate being here today. 
No, you know what? Hold on, because we actually still, I'm waiting for my, ne my next speaker to get on. So while you're here, I'm just going to keep getting you to give us some more big tips. That's all. Sure. <laughs> so while I try to get my next speaker's information, can you just go ahead and give us some more? Yeah, let me, let me give you that. Um, ever since I uh, left Microsoft Network and I've been trying to, recreate this environment where I would interview people like Deepak Chopra and Jack Canfield and stuff like that. So I created the Success Mastermind Hangout. Um, I'm going to give you that link. That's where you can get to the talk. Uh, it's going to be 4.30 Eastern time. Uh, we're probably going to get like with uh, 4.30 PM Eastern time is the Success Mastermind. Um, if you Go ahead and uh, ask some questions, but I'm going to go ahead and share, share my screen here and show you a few things. Uh, I love search engine optimization, and I love also being able to dominate the search field in, in Facebook. So if you type in success, mastermind, even if you start typing in success, okay, you're going to see that we have a fan page with 23,000 likes, and we have a private community of 274 members since you're here, you can be a member for free. We normally charge 97 a month for people to be a member, but we just want to give that an extra gift for people who are here. So oh my just, gosh. <laughs> That's so, thank you so much. Yeah, go, go, go join our mastermind. Um, because that's like our inner circle and we just want more and more people to engage in there. But please, there's no pitching. It's just about connection, okay? I get so excited about this stuff because I'm so <laughs> passionate to help people save money and increase their, their, their profits because that's, that's what amazing. I love about you, Victor. That's what I love about you. The only thing is, <laughs> okay, so I need, I know people just get on uh, book Victor for a thing. If you ever plan to do any kind of Facebook campaign, talk to Victor before you do anything. So what did you think of a little taste of Facebook relevance? Let me give you a bonus tip. I'm not sure if you caught it, but basically it's really simple. When you boost or promote a video on Facebook with no links, no call to action, just from the kindness of your heart, those videos have the highest typically relevant scores we have observed because people f can feel your authenticity and how much you care about them because you're not asking them to do anything. You're not asking them to opt in. You're not asking them to buy a product. There's no call to action at all. Then if they watch your video, you can run a retargeting ad that has a pure call to action and that will also improve the numbers that Facebook will give you on your ads. So it's a win-win. Create content that's the most relevant. Share it freely with no links and then retarget people who watch your videos with a direct offer straight to the checkout page and you're gonna do great in whatever business you're promoting. So that's my bonus tip in closing out this module. Peter, over to you. Yeah, it's, it's it, for those people that need to generate leads for your business, it's the lifeblood of your business is, is uh, the new blood. And to be able to offer something or, or actually give free content, not offer anything, have them watch it, but then those little pixels get in there, right? And Facebook is picking up that information where you can then offer them something at a later time through the retargeting process. So really generating leads without them opting into anything is fantastic. <laughs> you just gotta be able to do it and learn the process of putting all that together. But it's a life-changing thing in your business uh, that I think you're gonna love if you utilize it, okay? So hope you like the video and uh, in this technique and this special tip that Vic just gave. Awesome, awesome. So stay tuned for more videos coming to this channel on this topic. And of course, it goes without saying, please subscribe to this channel and to Peter's channel. And we will look forward to seeing you at our next live event. Bye now. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.